It's October 2020 and we are moving and are grooving. So the first thing we've done is we've bought a new lawnmower. Wildly excited, haven't had one for 10 years. Trevor's got the old one, he's hanging on to it like a limpet. And the reason we need a new lawnmower is we've a new house, we've secured the keys. We're very happy about that. It's a whole new beginning for me and Mel. Back of the house looks lovely, a bit old and tired. And you can see that the leaves are starting to be on the ground. So this is a job for the little mower. And I'm wildly excited to get to myself. <gasps> Hang on, it's Mel, she's taken over. Oh, ah, and there she is talking to Ian, the architect, about what we want to plan and to Jasmine as well. So we've got big plans uh, for the house. Walking around the garden, you can see all the surrounding buildings and getting the garden right is a matter of getting light in, but privacy as well. So that's gonna be a delicate balance and uh, we're gonna have, we've got quite big plans. We've also got the cottage next door, Thornton Cottage, and Daniel is gonna take residence up there. He's been a good boy, he's been tidying, cleaning, painting, Lord of the Manor here. The tree, uh, the horn beam is changing color nicely. Some won't make it, we'll be savage. Some will. So we've got big plans for the house and the garden. And we sold number five. I can't tell you uh, what a relief sleepless nights of, of past efforts of trying to sell houses. You can see it from number 16. You can see the view from the kitchen, bedroom there, and Daniel's pretty happy about it. So we've got the last few days kind of going on, cooking meals together. Jasmine's here. Lamb to Sheen, courtesy of uh, Roy and Karma. Very nice. Uh, Thomas has been around and seen his old mate Ed, which is uh, great to see. He's off to uh, London soon. And Daniel is doing his course, big mates with Flash. Flash can't understand why I'm moving. Very comfortable, very nice, very modern, very easy to look after. Nice little garden, yes, just good enough for a dog. Gary's happy, he's back having coffees in Cheltenham. The restaurants are, are all uh, thinking about how to serve their customers. But storm clouds are gathering. And it's very reminiscent of the spring. This is uh, Sounds, Abbey Grounds and Sound Sister taking my mum round for a good look. And it, like the spring, it's absolutely beautiful. We've had some gorgeous weather. Look at this copper beach. Doesn't it look fantastic? So just sitting there out in the open air is so good for mum. Uh, we've been watching the swans and the cygnets all year. Started off with six and stayed with six. And a remarkable sight was them flying around. Uh, in the air. So mum and dad are training the signals. So we're getting towards the end of the season now. Uh, and the flowers are coming out. And it's not just Sound Sister, but Cheltenham. These are the aces in my back garden. Well, when you go for a walk, it's absolutely beautiful here in Montpellier Square. Uh, look at the mistletoe all coming out. So you get this kind of, kind of false view. On the one hand, it's all looking extremely beautiful. Uh, on the other hand, there's this growing fear and worry that there's a second wave of the virus coming. And to start off with, it's kind of Scotland and Wales uh, and the north of England. The government tries a kind of a two-tiered, uh, three-tiered system, which seems to have a lot of kind of sense. But suddenly, be kind of before, really before we know where we are, uh, let's talk of a national lockdown. Uh, so, so winter winter is coming. It's not just that the clocks have gone back, it's getting wet and miserable, but uh, there's also a fear. Fear is uh, in the air uh, and it's demoralizing. The first lockdown lasted so long, the thought of a second lockdown and the harm it will do to the economy. We all listen to Boris, you know, it's uh, terrible, uh, but it's, it's a strange time because it's good for me and Mel. This is Jack measuring out his new domain. It's going to disappear behind the Bucks Ball, which is going to get castrated. He's pacing away, pacing, pacing, disappearing into the cops. Here he goes. In a minute, he's going to shout out. <laughs> 